Samenhofa Opata Hatskiego is an area which for many decades had been definitely disadvantaged. It was a backward district in terms of infrastructural backwardness. There has been little of public investment, but also importantly, it was a difficult district in social terms. We started revitalization activities in this area in 2008. Our main difficulty, initially, was gaining the trust of the local community. These people who have lived here for decades have lost all hope, but they also lost confidence in the public institutions that they would be able to help them. That's why the children have become our path to the very first changes and starting a dialogue with the residents. It was then that we organized a contest, My Dream Playground. The idea was for the children to draw how they imagined their dream playground, a place to meet. This is where the breakthrough came. Namely, the winning entry was later taken to the design boards. On this basis, the playground was designed and it has been implemented suddenly in the middle of a very degraded housing estate, like some kind of a UFO, there landed a colorful, modern, innovative playground. And that's when the adults noticed, oh, maybe things will change after all, maybe this time someone is going to help us and change the image of our neighborhood. That's where the collaboration began. This place, it's hard to believe today, but it used to be old, shabby, lots of flats that haven't been renovated renovated in years. In the middle, there was a sandy track, which used to turn into a swamp after a heavy rainfall. Whereas in the summer season, the wind blew clouds of dust here. There were cars driving down in the middle. This place was really unpleasant to live and function. And at this point, we invited the residents and asked them, what would you like to change? What should the investment to be executed here look like? And it worked. Drawings were made, models were created, the residents met discussed them and the final concept was then passed to the designer and posed as a basis for the implementation of the construction permit. And finally, there came that extraordinary moment. The moment many residents failed to believe in some time ago. Namely, the excavators arrived at the construction site. A new stormwater drainage system was built, followed by landscaping. Today, this estate is a kind of an oasis to the residents. I think there are many neighborhoods in Gdynia where the people feel envy of such a land development result. There are playgrounds, there are sports fields, there are all sorts of benches in the sun, in the shade. The benches people use to sit and talk. There are loungers, urban park equipment, but above all, the green surrounding is dominant. In addition, the effect is strengthened by thermomodernization and modernization of buildings. It so happened that Zamenhofa Opata Hatskiego area was the place where the greatest number of EU projects was being implemented at the same time. In fact, everything was changing here. And the icing on the cake, we created Przystań, a neighborhood house with a library, a place where residents can meet, pursue their passions, whether it's meetings on crocheting, language courses, or do-it-yourself activities, for example. Because we also have a basement workshop for people who would like to tinker together. It's an important tool in integrating local community. It's a place which reminds us that as a community, Zamenhofa Opata Hatskiego residents can do more. Przystań is a very innovative, original idea of the city of Gdynia. To make sure that in the neighborhoods close to the residents locally, such places of activity are created in a very broad sense. Because, on the one hand, these are places where they meet all sorts of services important to residents, but also every Przystań has a neighborhood house, a place where from the beginning to the end, the whole program, the idea for activities, who act for each other, but also for their neighborhood. Welcome to Przystań Opata Hatskiego 33 which is a place, such a melting pot of activity, in Helonia district. Our przystań here consists of two institutions. On the one hand, 
It is a library which has been very active for 70 years working for the district and, on the other hand, conducted by the Laboratory of Social Innovation, the neighborhood house, a meeting place, a place of activity, a place for action with the residents, for the residents. Our neighborhood house is an open space, open to people with different needs, with different worldviews, adapted both by the program as well as the space for people with very different needs. One of the key tasks of Przystań is for it to be an open place for all residents. And because of that, with reference to what Ola mentioned about the various facilities that have been adapted in Przystań, I'm hosting you in the kitchen today, which, as you can see, is a place prepared in a way so that workshops can be attended by residents with different needs. We have two levels of countertops, which allow them to be used freely for people in wheelchairs, for example. But the kitchen is not the only place which has been prepared with the thought of everyone and adjusted for them. In all levels of Tristan building, we remember about this. Starting at the basement level, where we were about to open a do-it-yourself workshop. You can easily get there with the help of step platforms. Therefore, even when you're in a wheelchair or you have a problem with mobility, you're free to go. The workshop itself also has facilities for people with special needs. There's a workstation with a special electrically adjustable table. This makes it possible to adjust its height adapted to specific needs of a particular user. On level zero, we have an elevator which freely allows us to move to the first floor where the neighborhood house is located. And this is where we are now, in the kitchen to be exact, which is the heart of the neighborhood house. Here we've had action live activities, but also during the pandemic, countless workshops. Our residents really like this place. It's the kind of place that's a great integrator of our community. You know, probably some of you have had this experience that kitchen is a place where people have fun playing, working together. You can evolve here, meet new people. This is where our residents initiate all sorts of workshops, but we also hosted European volunteers in the kitchen during the pandemic. They showed us cuisine from different parts of the world. We were able, through an online channel, to watch a workshop on the preparation of tiramisu by one of the volunteers, an Italian. Gianluca showed us the original Italian tiramisu. Sulen, a French woman, during her workshop told us about a regional dessert, Far Breton. We had a great time recording this workshop and so our residents can access it at any time. Visit our Facebook group. They can recreate these workshops and freely enjoy the benefits of this content which will stay with us on the group forever. Apart from the residents and volunteers, we often have our youngsters vigorously flitting through the kitchen. A youthful group of residents who enjoy visiting the neighborhood house, but Anya will tell you more about them. As part of the Gdynia Odnowa project, our Przystań hosts workshops and activities for young people. They cover a wide range of topics, from the problems of adolescence to the dangers of the modern world. Individual meetings are a different form of meetings here. It's when a problem of a particular person is being discussed. Besides that, we also go out for walks downtown. We get to know the city in a broader aspect. Our group is unique. Its uniqueness lies in this, that everyone knows each other. People keep in touch with each other, closer or further social contacts. In addition, each of the participants is talented and they pursue their interests during the activities held at Przystań. I'd like to introduce David. David is one of our oldest participants. He benefits from all the activities. I should add 
that he is a talented beatboxer. The activities offered by Przystań are well received by young people. Not only do they teach regularity and develop interests, but also enhance self-esteem. Hi, I'm Kukson. I'm a beatbox teacher at Przystań. Beatbox. What is beatbox? It's a developmental element for our speech apparatus. The classes are attended by guys from the entire Przystań, those under the project and others. So, we're developing a hip-hop culture and we're trying to take care of our sound, resonance and skills on the music scene. There are guys from all over Gdynia attending the classes and our Side of it, we discuss elements of music culture, hip hop culture, and what that entails. How to use beatbox while compromising with indie or electronic instruments. And we make sure that the stage fright does not overwhelm us, so that it doesn't overwhelm their performances and, most importantly, our resonance. Beatbox is a very developmental part of our speech apparatus. As a result, we also learn to speak, sing, and we interact with the electronic equipment, allowing us to activate our right and left hemispheres for us to learn rhythm, musicality, harmonization and all sorts of musical elements. We meet three times a week. In Przystań Opata Hackiego, there are also other activities cultivating hip-hop culture and showing us what it really is. Hello, my name is Łukasz Nowak and I'm a trainer at the Gdynia Parker Academy and as a part of the revitalization of Zamenhofa Opata Hackiego streets, I teach Parker classes here. What is Parker? Parker is getting from point A to point B as quickly as possible and as simple as possible. Parker, for the participants in this project, is a getaway from the reality. It is a form of spending their free time and shaping their characters too because Parker also develops character. It also develops strength. It breaks us down to make certain jumps. Our participants' age starts from the age of 13. They are from Opata Hatskiego and Zamenhofa streets. What keeps them here is the passion, interest and the opportunity to meet with other people. If you're interested in movement, come join us to other classes like Brayden. Hi, I'm Piotr Belski. I'm a craftsman painter and a b-boy. The classes I've run so far in Przystań have concerned two elements of hip-hop culture, breaking and electro-freaky. Both classes taught the basics of both elements. It was during these activities that the young people were able to gain completely new tools to express creativity, their own emotions and create their own personality based on character traits which are individual for each of us. During the pandemic, the alternative of direct instruction that I used to run for the young at Pristang has become recording of instructional videos through which I was passing my knowledge on. The big thing Thing that happened was that we could, and more so the participants, come back to these classes again and again to consolidate their knowledge. However, in my opinion, a much greater advantage is to teach the class directly in contact with the participants. Because I'm not just giving them just the content, the movement that they can see in the glass of a TV or a computer, right? But they simultaneously get the emotions through which, in fact, I can inhabit their curiosity, the passion and love for their disciplines. Places like Przystań are invaluable spaces dedicated to youth development development, which is why they must exist. It's not only Przystań, but also our neighborhood Wyminikownia Exchange House that offers activities for young people. It's interesting that Wyminikownia, which was created for young people, is created by young people themselves. It is the young people who have influence on the nature of activities. Welcome to Wyminikownia, which is the Youth Social Innovation and Design Center in Gdynia, which is located 
located in Helonia, which is next door to the two institutions of Przystań, Przystań Helońska and Przystań Opata Hackiego. Wymiennikownia is the first place which was created as part of our activity within the laboratory of social innovation and it is dedicated to young people aged 13 to 35. Wymiennikownia was a prototype on which the local government of Gdynia tested the formula of an open space where the residents can come and co-create the place alongside with its program. Pandemic time was a hard time for all of us. Unfortunately, our facilities had to remain closed, but that doesn't mean that we suspended cooperation with the residents. All the time we were in contact with young people. We contacted them through social media and also by phone. Pandemic time has shown to us that young people are particularly in need for our support now. That's why we are launching a big youth campaign, a tailor-made path, which is designed to help young people overcome problems associated with depression, which have increased recently. Wymiennikownia is a place, just like the neighborhood house in Przystań, in which the residents can come in, propose their ideas, achieve their goals, and also benefit from the support of employees in order to pursue their goals and interests. During the pandemic, we vigorously pursued an online program which was also implemented with the support of young people who conducted, for example, workshops via Zoom, like drawing or dance hall type. Sometimes there were also meetings of young people and residents who often conducted their own online activities. The work of a psychologist and a psychotherapist in the project of social services development implemented in revitalized areas by the Laboratory of Social Innovation is dedicated to youth and adults. Potential participants come forward with a variety of issues, so I'm trying individually to their needs to adjust the formula of our work. Sometimes it takes the form of psychological consultation which are short-term and sometimes a therapy. Therapy which lasts significantly longer. Since last year, in March, despite the restrictions related to the declaration of a pandemic, the project is still ongoing. We had to reformulate a bit the way we met with the participants. And for some time, we kept in touch by phone. However, let me emphasize that uh, the meetings in Przystań take place rather individually and with all due diligence as for health security. During the pandemic period, especially social psychologists conduct a number of studies on the mental condition of the Polish society. And these studies clearly show that this condition is not very good. Paradoxically, I must say that among adults that I'm meeting with, I haven't observed a high correlation between the problems that they come with and this pandemic period in which we live. It is completely different in the case of young people. There, however, this period of prolonged isolation from peers, remote learning, but also the kind of information chaos in the media at first, which introduced a lot of confusion, has had a big impact on lowering young people's moods. It has had a very strong impact, though, and it's apparent that the subjects of the meetings with young people and the problems they bring it correlates very strongly. But I must say that in my opinion the project has an extraordinary asset which is that in the age of such a high demand for psychological assistance the project gives such a possibility and the contact is constantly maintained in person as well which as I said seems very important especially for young people. I'm very glad that we had the opportunity to host you in our Przestań.